<clears throat> hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another Brad Tragic video, and well, I'm back on the computer. I got enjoy it. Push this back a little bit so you can, my head don't get cut off. Um, I know that's really annoying when you watch videos. Anyways, I got a couple of envelopes. Envelope number one. I have no idea what's in there. I do not remember what I won off of this year. Computer just like went kind of black for some reason. That's kind of weird. Then I had a small envelope, which I'm pretty sure is a pack of cards, but there's something kind of funky about this side of it, so I don't know what's in there. And then I have some DVDs that I'm going to be opening today. Kind of showing you what's inside of them. Kind of a cool different video, kind of an opening video. Um, looking on doing more of these in the future. I'm looking to find somewhere um, to open cards. I kind of want to start kind of a weekly thing doing this, so we'll see what happens. Uh, but I do have some list of stuff. Let's get into that. Let's see what's in this envelope. Now, I want to make sure I don't show you the address of the person that sent to me or my address. So, yeah, I will open this up. See what's in here. And like I said, I totally forgot what I won. Uh, we'll see what I won. Oh, yeah, this is kind of interesting. I thought this would be kind of interesting. I didn't know what I was getting. I forgot I built these. Anything else in there? No hand grenades or anything in there. But what was in here? Well, they are. Check this out. Collect all 72 photograph cards. Look for your Ricky Martin album collect and album to collect and save your 72 photo card collection. Hey, Ricky Martin card or photos. Let's open this bad boy up. See what's in here. Um, kind of keep it in halfway good condition. Because maybe I can uh, flip these on Listia and see if people want to buy them or purchase them. Kind of cool. These are kind of cool. Here's this one. Here's that Ricky Martin picture. Here is this Ricky Martin picture. <laughs> It'd be cool if I end up the thumbnail. Uh, this one. Some good photos. I mean, they're really good photos. I mean, they're really professional looking. Bringing smudge marks all over them. And the cool, the back of them have like, well, it looks like like a fake autograph or like a real autograph, but like on there, it says that. That's kind of neat. This is like... <laughs> This picture is like, hey, my career is over, but they're making me take photographs. And this one, well, he lost an arm in the war, evidently, or something. I don't know. Anyways, cool. That's kind of cool. Cool little photographs. Ricky Martin. Kind of weird. I forgot I'd, I'd bid on that. I think I wasn't really trying to win it, and I just happened to win it. So, it's kind of cool. And now we have... This, which I'm sure is a pack of cards, I'm not sure what kind of pack of cards, and I know I didn't spend very much on this, so see what it is. Dude, I'm telling you, I'm going insane. Like, I see things, like, moving and stuff, and I don't know what it is. It's weird. I think it's the shadows. My landlord decided to walk in on me the other day, though. Like, I'm sitting on the couch watching YouTube, and, like, they just walk on in. I'm like, really? Seriously? Oh, yeah, this is really cool. This is cool. This is, look at this, the Guinness Book of World Records cards. Guinness Book of Records cards. Uh, pro set, 10 cards per pack. Sports and games, facts and feats, natural and human world. Previously unpublished records. And these cards were made. Let's see, I think it says, can you read that? It says 92. You probably can't read that. But it says 92 on there. So let's go ahead and open them up. See what we got. We're going to open them up. 92. Winner made them. That's kind of old. Kind of cool. Kind of vintage. Vintage cards. Kind of want to get into that. Vintage card market. Any just card market in general. That's kind of cool. I, like, I'm not really wanting to get into baseball and basketball. I'm more into these kind of cards because they're kind of cool. So you never know what you're going to get. And plus, the people are trying to complete collection, even though I like like to break the corners. Okay, so the first one is hardly a lap dog. It's this. Uh, the world's tallest breed dog is a title shared by the Great Dane and the Irish Wolfhound, 
which can both grow to a height exceeding 39 inches, 99 centimeters at the shoulder. So that's pretty cool. Kind of neat. Then we have a white wonder. Here's that. The white wonder. Is it? Can you see it? Oh, pretty cool. Uh, world's first recorded albino gorilla was Snowflake, who was captured in Equatorial Guinea in 1966 and later transferred to Bar Barcelona, Spain. Awesome. There's more stuff, but I'm just, you know. Ooh, this is going to be interesting. Quick as a flash. Look at that. Uh, the world's fastest flash photo photograph. The world's fastest flash photograph can capture a moment in time lasting no more than two millionths of a second duration. Duration, As the picture overleaf shows, this makes it possible to stop a bullet in its tracks. Camera has been developed that can register image at a rate of 33,000 million per second. Okay, sure. <laughs> the original big wing. There's that. World's largest aircraft wingspan without the famous spruce goose. $40 million flying boat built for Howard Hughes in 1947. Uh, aerial monster with a wingspan of 3 or 19 feet, 11 inches, had just one test run, 70 feet, off or 21 meters, off the ground for a distance of 3,000 feet, 914 meters, and never flew again. Pretty cool. Arising, arriving by express. Uh, the world's fastest recorded... For a train on any national rail system is the incredible 320 miles per hour by the French in SNCF high-speed train TGV on May 18, 1990 between Coeur d'Alene and Tours. It regu regularly does the Paris Lion run of 264 miles in two hours, averaging a very swift 132 uh, miles per hour. I had a little stank on that. It's gonna be cool. Oh, there it is. Boom! The light's like right there, like funkin' with everything, isn't it? Right there. Um, the world's tallest man in medical history, at least, was Robert Pershing Wadlow, born in Alton, Illinois, USA, on February 2nd, 1918. He measured six feet at eight years of age, seven feet at 13, and eight feet at 17, eventually reaching the unbelievable height of eight feet. 11 one tenth inches before his death in 1940. Oh, that's cool. Oh, this is going to be uh, crazy here. Um, <sighs> kind of interesting card, though. Officially the largest. Um, the world's largest area of rentable office space is in the World Trade Center. New York City, USA, there's a total of 4.37 million square feet available in each of the Twin Towers, the taller of which is 1,368 feet high. It would take several large corporations to fill either tower. That's kind of sad. Getting a card of the World Trade Center, that's really bad. Oh, and this is kind of cool. I'm going to think I'm going to uh, hear Indiana in this. Pretty sure. No, no, no. But I think she uh, lived in Indiana. Uh, I know her, who she is. Um, let's see here. Uh, the world's tallest living woman is Sandy Allen, who was born on June 18, 1955, in Chicago, Illinois. Uh, a normal six and a half pound baby, her incredible growth began shortly after birth, reaching six feet three inches by ten and seven feet one eight inch by sixteen. She finally soared to the amazing height of seven feet and seven and one fourth inches. She weighs 462 pounds and takes a size 14.5 six er, uh, in the UK, 16 US shoe. Um, and I'm pretty sure she actually lived in Shelbyville, Indiana, uh, when she passed. That's what I heard. That's what I thought. She lived in Indiana when she passed. She's living somewhere around here. Um, so I don't know what brought her to any, whatever her profession, I guess, maybe was. I'm going to move that away from the stop thing. That would be nice. <laughs> what is this? Eight-legged monster. Can't see that at all, can you? That's a spider. Uh, the world's largest spider is the Goliath bird-eating spider, which inhabits the coastal rainforests of Suriname, Guyana, something. 
French Guiana and the northeastern region of South America. Yeah, I can't pronounce this stuff, so if I can't pronounce it, I apologize. Way win the last card. In the other hand, a huge female captured in 1985 had a four inch body with a massive ten and a half inch lifespan, one inch long fangs, and weighed 4.3 ounces. Crazy. Anyways, last card. Money worth a fortune. Uh, the world's highest value banknote in circulation in the U.S. Federal Reserve. $10,000 banknote, which bears a picture of Salmon P. Chase. Only 345 of these notes actually remain in circulation, and since 1969, the highest denomination issue has been $100. <laughs> it says photography on front, not legal tender. Can I show you that? I wonder if it'll show, show up. Does it say that? See that photography on front, <laughs> not legal tender, tender or whatever. All right, pretty cool cards. Those are pretty neat cards. Um, I, I was kind of interested by that, and I really weren't going for it very much. And evidently, no one was really interested in them. So it's kind of cool. I got that for a good price. Now let's look at the DVDs and stuff I picked up for Black Friday. I have not yet opened them up. So let's take a look at it. This is the Purge election year i got this for i believe three dollars four dollars my bad so i'm gonna go ahead and open this up maybe you'll see and um they had some decent dvds i've already hit the video on that i'm gonna open them up maybe I'll, i might open them up okay well there's some plastic let me just use this bag down here put my plastic in there we go this is going to be a, you know what, isn't it? Let me smooth this around so it doesn't uh, cancel my video. Uh, yeah, I decided to open these up, kind of do something different for the channel. And show you guys, if you guys aren't interested, you know, I'm just going to be uh, doing these three uh, things. I got to open up the DVDs, Blu-rays, and showing you uh, what I get in them and everything like that, what's inside. Um, that's what I'm going to do. So if you're not a fan of that. Uh, but here it is, unwrapped and everything. It's Purge election year pretty cool this came out i believe last year a couple years ago let me see um, where's that 2016 so yeah it came out last year uh on the back kind of like a sticker on the back for some reason oh cover the barcode that's what it was where was the barcode at the other one. Oh, it must have been for the uh, uh thing this is loose let's see what's going on here uh, no, oh, it was the um, one thing in here. Because this one, this is a. It's got a code? It does have a code. So it does have a code. So it came with the code right there inside. And then the back of it has uh, Walking Dead ad. So that's kind of cool. Don't open Dead Inside. Or oh, don't, yeah, don't open Dead Inside. A Walking Dead attraction at Universal Studios. That's kind of cool. So I got a. Um, I don't know what that is. I don't know. I wonder if that's still good. If it's still good, that's kind of cool. I got a uh, thing. But it does have the, all it has is the disc inside, so that's it. Um, let's see. Go ahead and take it off of there. Make sure it's not damaged or anything. It doesn't look like it's damaged. What is that? I know it kind of looked like, kind of rubbing on my pants a little bit. Make sure that's off of there. Cause it kind of looked like it had like some wet spots or something right there. Okay, make sure I don't have any water over here. I'm gonna kind of put this, I think, over here. All right. So then now, those other ones are really different. Um, nothing really in there. So this is a uh, Get Out, the Blu-ray DVD digital combo pack. I'm gonna open this up, see what's in there, what's it look like. And once again, the barcode. There's a barcode sticker on the outside of this. And this is pretty recent. This came out. Uh, 2017. I think at the beginning of 2017 this came out. Because I remember um, this being a big movie. People talking about it. And I, I really do want to see it. That's why I went out and bought it for 6 bucks for a pretty recent movie that has got pretty good praise for it. I thought it was worth the money. And even if I don't like it, you know, maybe I can do a trade somewhere or uh, for some other movie. I'm mean, just trade for something else to watch. Um, you know, that would be interesting. And if I can open up the DVD, that would be nice. Or the Blu-ray. And this is the only Blu-ray I got. I'm pretty sure, um, I think that is a DVD set that I got. The Friday, Friday, uh, yeah. 
I'll tell you some cool things too. Because I want I want cinema sickness a lot. And cool duty. I cannot get this open. I'm really having trouble getting this open. Where is okay? I have to reveal. Oh, there we go. See, sometimes the um, try to buy a little trick. You want to make it easier on yourself. Try and get into here because usually you can get into there pretty easily. If you seem to have problems opening up DVDs, usually you can get into there pretty good. And you don't want to use a knife or anything. Just kind of use if you have long nails. Or even if you don't have long nails, it's kind of good sometimes just to press on there, kind of really tight with your uh, nail, whatever kind of nail you should have. And usually they come open pretty good. Or you work around the spine here and get the papers off there. It's usually the good thing. I know something that I used to do was I kind of scratched this a little bit on the spine, which I don't think that's that bad of an idea. But if you're going to use like something to cut into a Blu-ray or something, do it on this side uh, because they're long that. Because then you're not going to damage anything. Um, so yeah, that, that's my tip for, uh, opening Blu-rays and stuff. And there's no tape on the top of here, I don't think. Yeah, there's no tape on that. That's the good thing about Black Friday stuff, is that they don't have tape. And there's no clasps either. Cool, I got another digital thing too. Oh, this is the digital thing of, um, Get Out. So, I actually have a digital version of Get Out that I can watch. Cool, pretty cool. It has, you can own these. has a little insert right there. And I'll probably go ahead and I don't know if I'm going to use that. I may send it to somebody and let maybe I'm actually going to send this like this. I don't know. But inside we have the Blu-ray and the uh, DVD of Get Out. Kind of cool. Kind of really cool. And then of course the artwork of Get It Out. Or Get Out, not Get It Out. Get Out, there you go. There's the artwork of that. That's pretty cool. And what features are on here? No, it's bonus features. Check that. Uh, bonus features, alternate ending and deleted scenes of commentary by writer-director Jordan Peele. Uh, then there's unveiling the horror of Get It Out, I guess, a little special. Q&A discussion with Jordan Peele and the cast. Uh, and then a feature commentary, so kind of cool. The heck was that? I think my butt just trying to talk to me. Uh, I hope that wasn't loud in the video. <laughs> That'd be embarrassing. Anyways, it is what it is. I am Brad Tragic. I do what I do. Anyways, there it is. Get out. Not really anything interesting. Like I said, another digital thing. We'll see that. This is split. I really do want to see this. And when I see any yellow, I'm like, that is awesome. If it would have been green, it would have been better. But it's kind of a more of a new. So I got Get Out and Split. Two recent movies. Purge Election Year was 2016 movie. And then I got Friday the 13th, which... Eight, I think I made it pretty good killing. I don't. I think that was pretty much it. What I wanted. There was a few other titles I would have liked to got, but I think I'm pretty good with my selection. I would have liked to have found the the um, Gremlins. I think they, some WalMarts got Gremlins one and two and the Goonies that, that triple feature set. That's normally ten, twelve bucks. They had that. I don't know how what it would have been the price wise, but if it would have been six dollars, that would have been a good deal to pick up. I think they also had a Home Alone set, which would have been interesting. I did see Home Alone, like a standalone, but I think they wanted like six bucks for it. It might have been Blu-ray, but even on the Blu-ray, I probably would only want to pay like five bucks for it. That's probably the max I want to pay for something like that. Because I, I, I mean, I'm okay with DVDs. That's not a big problem for me. I don't mind DVDs. It doesn't matter. And really, I, my PS3, my PS3 is kind of funky. And sometimes it doesn't like to play. Um, so this is how it is. Without the wrapping on it. Interesting. There it is. One of M. Night Shemalong Ding Dong, the best films, period. Uh, so let's open this up. No insert. Sad Panda. Um, there's just the DVD. Nothing special. Just the DVD in there. Um, pretty. Nothing comes with it, really. This doesn't look like it's scratched or anything, so that's good. I like the, like the way it is in here. There's nothing. It's easy to get out. It's just a push down spindle, so that's good. That's the way um, I think Purge was as well. It was this push down thing, too, so that's pretty cool. Um, Friday the 13th. Let's get to Friday the 13th. This video is going to go a little long, but it's basically an opening video. I got this. I don't think I have anything else to open. So let's go ahead and open this. I'm trying to open it. Oh, this one's going to be a you know what. Doesn't want to open. Oh, there we go. See, so if you push hard enough, it'll open eventually. And I don't want to, like, I have, at work, I always, like, bang my nails up and stuff. I'm always angry about that. 
passes out. I'll be randomly like working and like right when I'm doing good and you know, stock and freight <clears throat> really good, like he'll just he'll bang up something. So here it is without the wrapping. That's what it looks. And here's the back. It says all the movies on there. One through eight. Yeah, it's Friday the thirteenth, one through eight. Friday the thirteenth uncut. Friday the thirteenth part two. Part three, three D. Uh, the final chapter, which is four. Um, yeah. Um, five, A New Beginning. Uh, six, Jason Lives. Seven, The New Blood. And eight, Jason Takes Manhattan. Really good beginning thing. So now I just need to get the other one. So, and I've really been working on getting this collection. But for the longest time, the collection was super, super expensive. And for, I believe, $10.00. This is awesome. I, I definitely, it's definitely worth $10. Um, even if it's, I mean, even still, I think it's DVD. These are really cool. Is it DVD? Yeah, DVD, DVD. So this is really cool. So, okay. They're all like funky monkey though in here though. There it is. There's, that's really weird. Let me, let me turn this a little bit. There we go. It's not wet or anything. Okay. Anyway, uh, Friday 13th, uncut. And there is Friday the 13th Part 2, Friday the 13th Part 3D, Flipper, uh, the final chapter, spinning the dang things around. I don't like the spinny part. Part 5. Why are they all like factory people drunk or what? Jeez, more. 6, Jason Lives. 7, The New Blood. And then 8, uh, Jason Takes Manhattan. Oh, no, that's just protecting the disc. That's what it is. And there's nothing in here. There's no, uh, yeah, no paper insert or anything like that. So that was kind of, yeah, a little disappointing. But, you know, it is what it is. So there it is. Uh, that's all stuff. I opened them up. I kind of wanted to do that. Let me put these two inserts, though, back in. I'll probably just put them in the split DVD. Cause more likely, that's probably the one of the ones I'm going to watch first. But where is this? Where do you have to go to? Up he offer dot com Purge election here. Uh, I'm gonna try to pick it free. I don't know where I'm going to. Is this like universal? Do I get free digital? I don't understand where you go. I don't understand where you go to get it. I don't know where you would. You just download it or what? What do you do? I don't understand. Um, I may just send it to Cinema Sickness and write a letter and send them a couple other things. Um, I need to watch that crappy movie. It's called Just Another Love Story. I need to watch that, so maybe I'll watch that and then send that to him. I don't know if he has it, but if he doesn't, then he can, you know, put it on the, his store that he has. So like that. I do want to send some stuff to him that I'm not going to keep anymore. Uh, maybe pick up some DVDs that maybe I think he might like from my goodwill. Uh, maybe I'll do that. Take a little drink out of my Arby's drink. That's pretty much it. Open some DVDs for you guys. A Blu-ray. Three DVDs, Blu-ray. Um, some cards and some pictures of Ricky Martin. What a great way for it to, 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 to yeah, do a video. Something. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed the video, uh, let me know if anything you would like me to open. It's kind of cheaper than I can find. I kind of want to start getting into different things. Um, I have a child on the way, but I kind of want to start doing things a little bit differently. This channel, I want to be super eclectic. Uh, music, movies, uh, I want to do openings. I, I really do like doing openings. I like finding weird, obscure trading cards and opening them up, even though if they're like from the 70s, people are probably hating me and I'm opening up the packs. But I'm going to do it anyway. I kind of like to find like the old packs, like Turtles and Batman Returns and things like that. I want to try and find those cards. Um, so if anybody wants to, um, well, I, I don't really have a P.O. box yet, so nobody can really send me anything yet. Um, but uh, what I will do is... Um, basically, look on Listia for these packs that I'm trying to find and uh, do that. Because I, I do think that there are quite a bit of people that, that have a pretty reasonable rate for uh, selling cards. But I kind of want to start looking out for looking online for deals on trading cards and stuff like that. Um, and try to kind of get into selling like movie trading cards and things like that. That's what I kind of want to get into doing. Um, so I want to start putting them in hard sleeves doing things like that and getting them kind of in a professional state so I can have them in a car thing so I can actually go out, sell these, um, at, you know, flea markets and things like that and be able to do something like that. So I think that would be interesting, uh, to be able to sell these and, you know, make a kind of, I guess, make a, 
do some sales on them, I guess, and make some money off of them. Um, Because I think that'd be interesting to see where that goes. Uh, I would like to do it on Listia, but some of the stuff I can't sell on Listia. So, um, and I know like around here, I priced like buildings to go do stuff like that. And, you know, it's not really like very reasonable. It's really like expensive to go like, like one of those one things where you just basically drop your crap off and you have, you don't have to do anything with it. Just put it in the store and then people come and buy stuff and take it up front and pay for it. Um, it's kind of cool, but there are like kind of weird people. But I mean, I guess it's everywhere where people could actually steal stuff and do things like that. But anyway, but there's a place that sells DVDs and CDs uh, in this uh, antique mall nearby. And I kind of want to go in there sometime. And um, I don't know if they'll allow me to film in there. I don't know if they'll let me do that. I don't know if I want to ask or just do it and see if they kick me out or see if they say something to me about it. Um, but uh, someday I'll go in there and I'll kind of check up some stuff, see what I'm going to buy. I, I know I shot a video before there where I went there and told you I picked up the packs of cards and stuff like that. I kind of want to go back there again uh, soon, but I don't go back. I don't go there all the time because they don't seem to restock their stuff all the time. But I kind of do want to go back there and give them some business and kind of give them some money. So you know, hopefully it continues to be there. There is a guy with DVD. He's kind of higher priced on stuff, though. But he did have some really good CDs, and I kind of am getting back into wanting to purchase CDs. Uh, recently, I, I think I told you guys in the video, if you didn't check it out, um, I did pick out uh, Avenged Sevenfold, uh, City of City of Evil. Yeah, I think at Walmart. It was edited, but for what I want, I kind of just want some CDs to play in my car <clears throat> that I enjoy. And I have a few that I like pretty well, and I've kept them over the years because they're really the only ones that I thought worth keeping. But there are a few that I would like to get back that I had on burnt CDs. Because I told this a million times, like I used to buy CDs and then rip them and then sell the original copies on eBay. Um, that's what we used to do. So I used to have like, like those blank CDRs. I, I used to basically have like six, seven, eight spindles of all these burnt CDs in there. And I literally just threw them away because I got ter- tired of transporting them every time I moved. Because I moved quite a bit in, in, in a matter of like, you know, six, seven years. I was moving like all over the place. And I got tired of carrying them around and having to shuffle them around um, when I redid my shelves and stuff like that. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed the video. A lot of ranting and raving and some openings and stuff. So leave your comments down below anything you'd like me to talk about that I just talked about in this video. And uh, let me know comments about anything I could do in the future that's kind of like what I did in this video. So does that make any sense whatsoever? Probably not. But that's what Brad Tragic is all about. Not making any sense. Talking about nothing. Remember, somebody was going to give me a world title about that, but I'm still waiting for that championship. Still waiting, James. Anyways, <laughs> keep rocking and keep on opening stuff, just like I did in this video. Later, guys. Keep rocking. Once again, did I mention keep rocking?